Tazlima Nazreen, you're a qualified doctor, you're a poet, a writer, and an activist and a feminist. You're despised by some Muslim extremists. Which part of all of the things that you do do you think they dislike the most? They dislike uh, when I said that Islam is not compatible with women's rights, human rights, um, secularism and democracy. But Muslims all over the world, Muslim fundamentalists all over the world, I think, hate me. Not only Muslims, Muslim fundamentalists, misogynists, male chauvinists, they do not like um, you know, that I am fighting for women's rights. You know, you've had a number of fatwas against you, haven't you? I think I counted four, but there may be more. It, it, that, that, that's an awful lot of condemnation. It must be quite, quite a, a terrifying existence, then, surely. I think so. You know, st uh, I was thrown out of Bangladesh 17 years ago. I have been living in exile for 17 years. And uh, I moved to India a few years ago, and then I was thrown out of India again by Indian government. And only last year I got the you know, permission to live in India. But it's very uh, difficult to live uh, you know, uh, in India surrounded by all these fundamentalists and misogynists. But I think that my fight is very important. Uh, it's for raising consciousness. Well, you've seen the Arab Spring, and some people, are, some, some women's groups indeed in, in the North African countries are saying, here, now we have our chance to, to take a place in society. Do you feel that is going to happen, or is there a fear that some of the more extreme Islamic elements are, are involved yeah. in those revolutions and might stop that from happening? Yeah, because those corrupt dictators, they were at least secular. Now, the, I'm not very optimistic that democracy in Arab countries will bring the secular people in the, in the power. I think the Islamists will try to get in power and they will not give any chance to women to, to, uh, you know, to be their partners in the, uh, in the government. So they will try to create a theocracy and they will leave women at home. It means the women will not have any chance. You've been lauded in the West in particular. I mean, you've received the Sakharov Prize in 2004. You've received other awards too. Um, I presume that the, the fundamentalists in the Islamic countries see that as a, a sign that you are, if, if you like, a tool of the West and against them. Has it actually helped you or hindered you in, in the work that you're doing to, to give women equal rights? Yeah, the, some people always try to say that she, because she said against Islam, so that she is loved by the West, you know. But always I say that uh, it's not a fight between West and Islam. The conflict is uh, somewhere else. There is a conflict. The conflict is between between secularism and fundamentalism, between uh, irrational blind faith and rational logical mind, between the people who will who value freedom and who do not. It's not a fight between West and the, uh, the West and East or um, Islam and Christianity. No, it is a fight between rational, logical mind and irrational blind faith. And the fight will be uh, continued. You know, in Bangladesh and India, there are many women who are really becoming very courageous. And many people say that it's the Slima effect. Because, because they're kind of convinced what I wrote that women should, uh, you know, fight the misogynist, male chauvinist, and religious fundamentalist or religionists to stand on their feet. Because those are the forces always will, uh, you know, try to prevent women from getting their equal rights. Tazlima Nazarene, that's it. Thank you very much indeed and congratulations on uh, all the work that you've done. Thank you. Thank you very much.